Uh, that's a great place to start. And I think it's definitely becoming a more and more pressing problem. Um, um, I dug up some other data on, on this topic um, okay. so we can chat about this. And I found that there was a study by Cybersecurity Ventures that predicted 3.5 million unfilled security jobs by 2021, um, up from just 1 million in 2016, which is a huge number to start with. Um, and a separate study found that uh, the skill shortage has gone from the fifth most pressing concern to the top concern among security leadership. So definitely uh, we live in a time when businesses are becoming increasingly aware of the problem, um, but they're having people having trouble, yeah, sorry, having trouble finding people to fit those roles. Um, and this isn't just a matter of finding bodies who put in empty seats. You know, they're looking for talent. They're looking for people who have technical skills and communication skills, and they're looking for people who can grow within their organization and stay there. And, you know, and above all, they want to be able to, you know, keep these people over time and not lose them to other organizations, which is definitely an issue. Um, also in the security space is keeping the people who you are able to hire and who you are able to afford. Um, a big challenge is that a lot of the people who are really good and who have been in the industry a while um, are both expensive and they're in high demand. Um, so you have companies fighting over these people who have been in the industry for a long time and they built this level of expertise that makes them really, really good at what they do. Mm -hmm. um, with respect to the feeling of helplessness, um, excuse me, um, I think the, the process of hiring security professionals is enough to, to frustrate businesses and to make them feel like they, they can't find these people because um, I think it's about six months it takes, three to six months on average to fill a security role and yeah. then you have to onboard them and it takes a lot of time uh, to fill these positions once you even find a candidate. Um, and sometimes the problem really isn't in the security team's hands. You know, an HR department might be tasked with finding uh, your next security employee, but mm. they don't really understand the qualifications for the position and they don't understand what the security team needs. Uh, so oftentimes they'll go on a random job site and find a similar position and copy and paste the job posting. And then you end up with candidates who aren't exactly meeting the needs of the security team, and that can also lead to a lot of frustration. Um, so there are a few factors at play here. There is a need for cybersecurity professionals at almost every level. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have yet to speak with someone who's like, oh, we have plenty of X position, like we don't need any more prof like professionals with that role. Um, right. I think that this is an area of expertise that's definitely in demand, um, and there are different, I guess, um, the needs vary from organization to organization. Um, so Dark Reading found in that same survey, for example, that technical professionals who have people skills and who are good communicators are actually the hardest to find. So the mm. people who can sort of bridge both worlds and be able to understand the technical matter and convey that to the business so that the business can get value from it, uh, those people are, you know, Unicorns. Uh, it's it's rare that you find someone who can do both. Um, and the same amount said that they were challenged to find experts who had experience in their specific environment or a specific in industry. So let's say you're in healthcare and you're looking for a cybersecurity professional who has experience in the healthcare space. You know that's much harder, and you're going to have a tough a tougher time finding people who have those skills. Mm -hmm. um, and interestingly, fewer people said that they struggled to find people with experience in the latest technologies. Um, so more so than finding someone who is experienced with the latest tech, people are struggling to find people with relevant experience and people who can communicate, uh, which I found really interesting. So different kinds of skills are top of mind for different businesses.